when the finance bill came to the house of, of the, the floor of the parliament can you speak uh peter Present. um kwanza let me just begin by uh saying thanks for the the platform that you have created indeed when i just started listening from the word go when you gave uh your remarks i was so much impressed because you touched somewhere whereby there is a mess you know we have been just trying to talk to talk to talk but there is a place that where americans you touched so deep and this is the way we need now to we need now to go and this is the time because number one all these problems that we are facing it is because of uh, we have lacked a parliament that is vibrant a parliament that uh, can hold um executive uh um on uh, on, on 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 serious oversight because when the constitution was made uh maybe i'm not good a historian but you're all aware that um uh, we have three arms of government and each arm has its own roles and i remember when we we met with the president as young parliamentarian he told us that the young leaders we should the when a young parliamentarian some time back that we should legislate our work is to legislate but so surprisingly you find like if there is a, contra a, a controversial bill that uh, has to go through you will find like the members uh you meet with like you remember last time we had people like narama they had made a deliberation position that i'm going to vote no but the moment these guys they are called in the parliament in, in the um, in the state house when they come back from the state house everything has changed and that is why there is a point where you say that we need a referendum a constitutional referendum whereby we can separate the presidency we cannot have a parliament that is an extended hand of an executive recently you saw what just happened uh, as a procedure of the house we never have uh, we are not used to have um, the we always have our the house business tuesday afternoon um then wednesday from morning to evening and then thursday from 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 two onwards but if we want to sit to have a sitting in the in the, on thursday morning there is always a, mo a, mo a, a mover and then we deliberate and then we agree that the house is going to sit the following day but it was very um and procedural that even most of us we were not aware that you are going to have a sitting on that particular uh, uh, Thursday morning, but just because somebody has received instruction from the state house that we need to 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 get the the issue of the, uh, the 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 military, that now they have to pass it in the house whether the opposition are there. So in the morning around three, around uh, around two, around eight is when they are sending us message that we need to be in the house when they have already themselves have been mobilized. There is this issue also they come up with uh that the the, the 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 executive can even spend money um uh some money without the approval of the house that is outside the budget and just because they receive the instruction from from another arm there is another one that the government can go ahead and borrow money even without some about there's a figure without even notifying external borrowing without notifying even the parliament so you note that there is a problem and this problem must be sorted out there is no independence in the parliament and that is why i just asked americans to request me to come in so that i can also explore because we are there like with the first time mp sometimes you will ask yourself why are we not even be able to not to speak in the house there are those like there's one who say that uh there are those who um they have stayed there so they call them that's why he told the when i was going that i cannot be monolized here uh, i cannot be monolized whatever and then i come here again because there are those who call them, them themselves veterans so you have a burning issue but to get a point to speak and then it's it becomes another hell and then there is this what you call the patronage of the parties like parties uh, and uh, that is where now we have to converse that is where we have to speak about why is it that these members of parliament like the opposition this is not about only the the government side but even on the opposition 
even me at one point i was removed on a, a from from a departmental committee just because of i don't know even i don't understand just I, and 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 you ask myself why did you but it's because of some politics that was just happening and then you also realize that uh, even those who are in the kenya kwanza they'll be told that you have to be you have to follow this direction if not you're going to be removed from the the committees so that is where we need also to have a conversation who gives the powers to 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 to, to nominate members into specific uh, committees and i want to ask also thank the 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 lsk and i was so much worried i remember even i told um, I, I, I was worried if feather the amber will accept uh or the amber will accept the the the, the, the welcome to full Kenyans that uh, they are they are trying to look at uh, 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 um, uh, uh, an inquiry commission to look at the issue to do with the with the debt uh, uh, position of this country, and I want to tell you that there is a report that was done, and this report was done uh, uh, by the there is a committee that is there, a select committee called um, the debt uh, the public debt committee that is mandated to look at the debts of a country so when i heard about the uh, uh, president talking about that he's forming uh, 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 an inquiry commission uh, when uh, i've never uh, heard uh, about uh, yes go on go on go on yes when i heard about him saying that he has formed uh, an inquiry commission to go and look at this uh, that when we have we already have a, a, a report that implicated that the euro bond money never came into this country and people were paid by the way were paid and so again what is really and that's why for those who have heard me speaking even uh, on public uh, rallies uh, uh, in public I ask myself a question i'm not a good historian but uh, 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 in 2013 i was um, i was i wasn't so much into politics I was still in school and I, I used to hear people like uh, Tuge where the Kamau Tuge were the, the, the peers of the finance by that power by that time very powerful peers we had people like Narotichu were there and Narotichu were the CS of finance we had people like Njugunandungu who was the central uh, governor of the central bank and so the same same people I went the money from the Eurobond got lost are the same same people that have been rewarded these jobs as the economic advisors they are the same people that now they are holding bigger positions in terms of holding uh, uh um, holding uh, the finances of this country you ask yourself there is what you call the auditor general and you also have the board of um, uh, that governs the 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 central bank of kenya ask yourself who is auditing the central bank and that is being run by few people but now the auditor cannot even audit the central bank and yet that is the work so those are the things that i think um as the the, the elites of this because this nation lies in your hands and i'm happy that you have studied the dynamics of the of the politics of this country that if we come and uh, raise one person say that this is our leader then you know this person is going to suffer will be under intimidation will be bribing will be all sorts of manner of so that to make sure that the movement dies at a go so um when you and and that is why i want all of you to remain with that slogan and i'm happy that most of the members you are able you are mark timing each each member and I'm happy when the Bonfast Megwen was trying to do, you are able to bring him on board and say, tells him this is the direction that you want. I've heard about people like uh, Alai, Robert Alai, being called on order. You have to make a position. You don't need to have someone to come and discourage the people because these people, they're under, 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 and again, you remember the last finance act of, um, uh, the, the, the finance bill or the finance act of, uh, 2023. 2023 uh, the, in the house there is what you call the business house committee the business house committee is the one that is mandated to give members on the the business that are going to come into the house to be discussed 
it is so much unfortunate that even it is unpredictable. If someone wants to pin you down, they will tell you that this we are going to vote. They, they like last time, we have been we have not been notified. Like we knew voting is going to be next week, but our leader who is there has not communicated to us, telling us that now there's going to be voting on this particular time and uh, day and time, so that don't go away. So you just find at the moment the voting starts, yeah. and that is why you find in 20, uh, 2023 Finance yeah. Act, most of the people were in the house, but they never okay. voted. Because Walikuja, and that okay. is it. So um, I, I just wanted to highlight those yeah. issues so that at least it can also give you direction as you... But the, this is the time for you to call upon the, the referendum and fix some of the things that you are seeing. Because look at the, the last thing that I just want to yes. tell you. And I'm happy uh, that, that this is the yes. thing. Uh, I'm in the Committee of Agriculture. Yes. When I'm in this Committee of Agriculture, we were mandated to have a report. Yes. And we worked in all the serious yes. board in this country trying to look at the facts that whether there was uh, the, 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 on, the, on the issues of the fertilizer. And indeed, the report that we came up with, that there was a mess. The, the, the soil that was being sold to the Kenyans, the issue of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the scandal of fertilizer. Okay. So when we brought this report on the parliament, they just uh, put it that, that side. No one used Thank it. You. And then these people are working uh, Scott. Thank you. So thank you. Um, uh, thank you so much for bringing yeah, up for us. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, but uh, I want to put it to you that the entire nation is so disappointed with the House. The entire nation is so angry with the Parliament. And uh, the only thing the nation wants right now is that that Parliament should be recalled, the whole of it. That Parliament is a mess. Because from what you've told us, it's like parliament is now like business. It's like a market. You know, the person, the, 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 the one you can buy is the one you, that will pass those bills. So we want that parliament to go home. It should be dissolved all of it. We don't want it. And if they continue staying there, these young men will come back for them. And they will now remove them forcefully from those seats. So go and tell your members or your colleagues that we are so disappointed. We do not want anything to do with them. Deguanjiru. Ah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Eric. Thank you very much, all the participants. I have keenly followed the debate since we began. And I have heard the encouragement that we are more focused than ever. To make sure that we redeem this country, that we reclaim this country, that we rebuild this country. And the process of reclaiming and redeeming this country and rebuilding it requires a lot of self-sacrifice. It requires a lot of commitment. It requires a lot of gathering than scattering. It is therefore my appeal that during this very dire session that we have engaged ourselves in, that we try to gather as much as we can and scatter less as we can. Because all of us at this particular time Everybody matters to us. And now, moving forward, I have listened to my landed senior, Mr. Well, uh, Willis, submissions. I have also heard the sentiments of the host about the question of parliament. We have, um, uh, I have heard the submissions about the question of the IBC, the public debts, and all those. I'll tackle each at a time. I would begin perhaps by tackling the question of the IBC, and where we are at the moment. And what are we waiting for? Uh, um, constitutionally, at the lapse of 14 days, whether William Ruto decides to sign, the, uh, the, to assent to the bill or not, the bill will become effective and will become law. But uh, upon becoming law, how then do we move on and how is a, a bill proposing to constitute the IBC? And that is why, where we should be focused at or on. I submit that when you look at the bill, they changed the criteria of constituting the IBC and they proposed that um, the, uh, the, 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 the constitution of the panel that will select the commissioners. They said, one, the political parties will have serious role in participating in the manner in which the commissioners will be selected. 
For example, the political party, the political party liaison committee, which is a liaison committee that is constituted of all the registered political party in this country, notwithstanding whether those political parties have complied with the political parties act or not, they were granted an opportunity to appoint three representatives who will sit in the panel to select the commissioners. Kenya Kwanzaa was equally given two slots to select the commissioners. Azimio was equally given two slots. One slot, I think, is going to the public, uh, 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 members of the public. But the question is, this is a very important panel that will reconstitute the IBC. We are in this mess because the IBC decided to, to rumble down our elections. The IBC decided to take the direction they took. So are we waiting and are we watching uh, the country taking the same route of um, constituting an IBC that perhaps may not have the integrity that is required to oversee a secure, a fair, a free and fair elections? I, I am calling upon you, uh, brothers and sisters, that we focus on this particular panel. The panel is the one that is mandated to um, appoint the IBC commissioners. Who will sit in those particular panels? Who will sit there? Because the person of who sits determines how the election will be conducted in the future. Equally, it will also determine whether or not the commissioners that we shall be constituted will be people of integrity. People who meet chapter six of the constitution. That is to mean 